I stand in protest today of an event taking place here at the Winmore Country Club, home to many in South Florida's retirement community. Gonzalez alum, an individual who has involvement in a number of radical Muslim groups associated with terrorism and bigotry, has been invited by the Winmore Democratic Club to speak. Salam is currently the executive director for the Florida chapter of Emerge USA, a radical Muslim group which works to further its Islamist agenda via political advocacy. Like most political advocates, the group attempts to infiltrate political circles by sponsoring candidates' forums and by raising funds for politicians from whom it thinks it can buy influence. Unlike most advocates, though, the forums Emerge puts on are many times held at extremist mosques associated with terrorism. The main individual behind Emerge is Kurt Wahid, a South Florida attorney who has built his name on representing high-profile terrorists. They include operatives from Al-Qaeda and financiers of the Taliban. One of his clients, Miami Imam Hafiz Khan, sent $50,000 to the Taliban specifically to kill American troops overseas. According to the Miami New Times, Wahid himself was placed on a federal terrorist watch list in 2011. One of the radical mosques Emerge holds events at is the Islamic Center of Boca Raton, which was co-founded by a Hamas web designer and a former assistant of a global terrorist leader, whose founding imam, Ibrahim Jamali, was placed on the federal no-fly list, whose website has called for the murder of Jews and which built its current mosque using $600,000 in seed money from the Al-Qaeda charity Global Relief Foundation. Another radical mosque partner of Emerge is Tampa's Al-Qassam, a mosque founded by Palestinian Islamic Jihad leader Sami Al-Aryan. Yet another is Pembroke Pines Darul Uloom, which has served a number of Al-Qaeda operatives and whose imam, Malana Shafayat Muhammad, was thrown off several Broward County boards for anti-homosexual anti activity. Ghazala Salam has received many honors from the Darul Ulu Mosque and its anti-gay imam, Shafayat Muhammad. While with Emerge, Ghazal Salam held joint events with Ikna Relief. Ikna Relief is a function of the Islamic Circle of North America, or Ikna, the American affiliate of South Asian Islamist group Jamaat-e Islami. Jamaat-e Islami's militant wing, Hizbul Mujahideen, owned the Pakistani compound where Osama bin Laden was hiding out and was killed. ICNA has been linked to terrorist financing and has used the web to promote different terrorist groups, including Hamas, Al-Qaeda, Hezbollah, and the Taliban. Prior to taking a leadership role in, in Emerge, Ghazala Salam was the Community and Government Relations Director for the Florida chapter of the Hamas-linked Council on American-Islamic Relations, or CARE. CARE was established in June 1994 as part of a terrorist umbrella group headed by then global head of Hamas, Musa Abu Marzouk. In, 2010, in 2007 and 2008, CARE was named by the U.S. Justice Department a co-conspirator for two federal trials dealing with the financing of millions of dollars to Hamas. Since its founding, a number of CARE representatives have served jail time and or have been deported from the United States for terrorist-related crimes. In November 2014, CARE itself was designated a terrorist group by the United Arab Emirates government. CARE Florida has fully reflected the extremism of its parent organization. Its executive director, Hassan Shibli, who has previously denied that Hezbollah is a terrorist group, wrote in August 2014, quote, Israel and its supporters are enemies of God, end quote. In July 2014, CARE Florida co-sponsored a pro-Hamas rally in downtown Miami, where rally goers repeatedly shouted, we are Hamas and let's go Hamas. Following the rally, the event organizer, Sophie Zakat, wrote, quote, thank God every day we conquer the American Jews like our conquest over the Jews of Israel, end quote. While with CARE, Ghazala Salam also took on a role as a representative for Islamic Relief another group heavily associated with terrorism and designated by the UAE government a terrorist organization. In November 1999, it was reported that Islamic Relief had collected and sent over $6 billion to Chechen rebels with ties to Al-Qaeda. The same year, 
Islamic Relief received $50,000 from Human, Con Human Concern International, a, quote, charity that the U.S. Department of Treasury describes as a, quote, Bin Laden front. Shortly after the September 11th attacks, Islamic Relief itself would be investigated by the Treasury Department as a, quote, possible source of funding for Al-Qaeda and other terrorist organizations, end quote. In October 2005, Russia accused Islamic Relief of supporting terrorism in Chechnya, and in May 2006, Israel labeled Islamic Relief a Hamas front. At the end of 2014, HSBC Bank cut off all services to Islamic Relief in the UK, where the group is headquartered. Ghazala Salam's involvement with Emerge, CARE, Islamic Relief, Darul Uloom, and Ikna Relief, groups associated with terrorism and bigotry, should make her an outlaw in America and the subject of investigation by our government and law enforcement. Yet Ghazala Salam has been embraced by the Democratic Party and those aligned with it. In the name of political expediency and self-interests, they are more than willing to reach out to radical Muslims, regardless of the cost it could bring to our nation and our community. They do not care about the violence or anti-Semitism or homophobia associated with these groups. They only care about the votes this dangerous relationship could bring. The Winmore Democratic Club and all who embrace sinister individuals such as Ghazala Salam should be ashamed of themselves. What you are doing is a disgrace. Radical Islam should never be acceptable or welcome anywhere. It should only be shunned from society. While Salam may mean peace, Ghazala Salam means terror. Thank you. Thank you.